Magic fans have arrived at Disneyland. Today we're going to cover who can get them, where to get them, how much they cost, what they can do, what they can't do, and a whole lot more. All coming up next, Fresh Bake. Morning Fresh Baked. It is a Wednesday morning here at the Disneyland Resort. Wednesday, October 19th, and that means it is the first day for Magic Bands here at Disneyland. First time any guest can buy a Magic Band on the West Coast. They've been at Walt Disney World for years. A lot of guests here at Disneyland have been waiting patiently for them to arrive at Disneyland. Today is the day, well at least I should say, today is the day for Magic Key holders, DVC, and cast members. They are all getting a weak head start on Magic Bands, and that's what we're about to do right now. We're getting a Magic Band. Maybe wondering why we skipped <laughs> going into the shop on Mason Street. David, why aren't you going on uh, into Emporium? Good morning. Hi, guys. Uh, they're not selling them in any of the regular uh, gift shops. They're not selling them on Main Street or anywhere like that. The only place that you can get a Magic Band today is at the Star Trader, the old Star Trader that doesn't exist anymore in Tomorrowland. That wasn't so bad. It took about a half an hour in that queue. Uh, early hype, though. It was the it was the early nine eight thirty a.m. nine a.m. hype. We go back there now, right now, and it's virtually empty. So I wouldn't expect for you to encounter the <laughs> the kind of crowds that I saw in there this morning. Uh, but it was pretty neat, you know, just seeing the excitement. Everybody ran into a couple of folks. So I just ran into Cindy in the queue here. Cindy, you've picked out a couple. Yeah. You got three. <laughs> There's three of us. I'm just the one in the I see. So <laughs> what? how did you choose? Um, so I'm a big Haunted Mansion fan, yeah. so I wanted to get the Haunted Mansion one. And then we are Magic Key Holders. So I thought about that. That one yeah. gets the discount too, right? Yeah, I yeah. So. And then my stepson just loves purple, so I got him a purple one. <laughs> you guys have been excited about this, I assume. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 All right. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. No so I got uh, Mondo from Five Fires here. I, I ran into the queue. You got yours. You picked the same one I did, I see. Yes. Yeah. So we all, at least I showed up with the idea that Magic Key holders are going to get $10 off. Right. Only the Magic Key Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the other, yeah, the, the one that says, yeah, the happiest place on earth. The regular ones are still $45. $45. $45. Yeah. yeah. You asked, a, you asked an interesting question when I was in the queue. Let, oh, let, yes. Yeah. So when I was asking Dave, would you rather have a physical annual pass? Old back, school. The old school yeah. Disney pass, yeah. Magic Key pass. Or a magic band. That's a really good <laughs> I, I had to ponder that one for a second. Where, where, do you, where are you leading towards? We haven't used these I yet, mean, so we don't know how cool these are and if like we get one over by them essentially. 
But a pass is nice. You're like, here's my disco. Link my, my I, uh, photo pass. The actual pass was quite handy. It's more handy than the phone. Because just, no charging, no loading. Right, you just pass. Because I always, I would leave it loose in my pocket and I would just whip it out and, and, then, and there you go. Yeah, you just move on with your day. Yeah. But an annual pass, a physical. That's a good question. Just scan it. I'm going to leave that out there for our guys. <laughs> what do you guys think? What would you rather have, the actual physical pass or a magic band? Fascinating question from Mondo and I'm looking forward to testing out uh, how this thing you know compares to just using your phone or having an old fashioned, uh, you know, physical annual pass but anyway as for what they have available there is there, there are five met bands that are that are specific to, to Disneyland as a park there's the classic Sleeping Beauty Castle and I also love the fact that it's got the uh, the old the old-fashioned Disneyland sign on there uh, there's the storyteller statue from DCA a first visit band which is interesting because do you just wear that the one time <laughs> Or you come back and keep wearing that that first visit band, or do you buy a new band? I guess after I don't know. That seems interesting. Uh, the classic D, which I I kind of was into a little bit. I didn't even notice um, at first, but there's they have the uh, opening day speech or part of it down there. The quote from Walt Disney to all who come to this happy place. That made me kind of happy. Then you've got your uh, happiest place on earth. This is a Magic Key specific band that. Uh, actually has a discount. I, I want to say it was 10%. If you buy this band, you get a discount on that band specifically. You also, Magic Key holders, do get a discount as well on the overall purchase. Uh, and then the rest are just sort of a, a mix of branded stuff, you know, Marvel, Star Wars, uh, there's a Coco, Jack Skellington, and a Sally, Jack and Sally, they go together, Han and Mansion, and then a couple of uh, Mickey silhouettes. As I mentioned, I opted for the classic. I feel like there's just the one choice, and that was the the, the Sleeping Beauty Castle with with the you know, Disneyland sign on there. It's amazing. Let's unbox this thing. Ba -da -da -da. Well, there we go. The band has been released. <laughs> there we go. And it's got you know the, the typical you know adjustments here you can to fit around your wrist. Uh, it also comes with, yeah, your charging cable comes in the back. Don't don't throw away the box right away. I saw a guest had to fish his out of the trash because he threw away all of this, thinking it was just, the band was good to go, but it was just plug and play. Oh my God. Okay, so this is this is the attachment. The, the chart. You have to charge these. The, 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 the original bands were battery powered, and they lasted, the whole, the band, you know, it stayed on always, but it lasted about two years. These, you have to constantly recharge, but it'll last forever. And so I guess you attach it to the back, like that. It, yeah, it's just snapped in, just like that, it's snapped in, and then you plug this into uh, your, you know, a, a fuel rod or a, or a brick of some kind. They don't come fully charged. Uh, they come a little bit charged. That's, what the cast well, that's one of the things we're going to test to see how long this lasts, but I'm not expecting it to last very long. Having said that, there's one thing I do know is that it'll still function without power in terms of the basic function, scanning into the park, uh, using it for lightning lane, and using it for photo pass, because those functions do not require power. Uh, it's, I want to say it's RF, I don't know if it's RFID, but I'm, we're going to test that out as well. So hold on to this, and now we're going to try to sync everything up. Uh, this is, we got an over-the-head shot of, of Caleb. He just got his as well. You got the same one I got. Oh, it's a good design. I love it. It's like it's, it's the easiest choice, I think. It's definitely. It's a beautiful color. It's retro. It's classy and just simple enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have, you, have you installed everything? You got it all have, synced up? I had a little bit of trouble syncing it up originally. And when I try to do it on my phone, it disconnects quite often. It still does the functions it needs to do, but it just takes a while to get back to being on the app. So let me just give you a tip real quick. Sure. When you're syncing it up, it's gonna ask you to sync on your phone and then to sync on the Magic Band. You sync on the Magic Band first, that way it's already looking for the phone. It's a lot easier that way. Oh, okay. It, it was not connecting if I did either way around. Okay, good, good to know. We'll give it a shot. For sure. All right, thanks, man. All right, so cast member said to go to the app, click Magic Bands, and then we're going to add a magic band. 
And then open the scanner, ready to scan. And there we go. Complete action, you've all just been used Chrome, I guess. Okay, get started. Use the app to unlock. I get, is it done already? Is that it? Use the app to unlock all the magic of your band. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you will be taken to the appropriate app store page, which... So we're gonna link a band, I guess? Oh no, I don't have to now. I'm gonna go back. Looks like you don't have any... Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, link account. Now I gotta pick one. Sign. I don't know how I got here, but here I am. Bluetooth, of course. Allow. That's the whole point, isn't it? To pair your band, make sure your band is charged. Power on, press, press and quickly release the back of the button. Okay. I have no idea if that worked. Oh, I felt that. That worked. There's a little bit of a, a vibration. You'll feel that. Once powered on, hold down. Hold button down for three seconds and release. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I did that already. Scanning for band. So it looks like it... It has identified my band. There's a code, there's a code on the back of your band, and that code has coincided with the code that's on my band. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show you that or not, so I'm gonna gray it out just in case. I don't know if that's supposed to be private, but uh, uh, I can, you can confirm visually that, that it has synced your phone to the Magic Band. Pairing is encouraged, so we will pair. And there you go. Our magic band does now appear to be showing up on our app. If I go back to the main thing, go back to the magic bands, there it is. There's our magic band. And I guess that's it? That's the entirety of the process, I suppose, if I open that. Hey, Caleb. Hey. So I think I, think I did it, right? I mean, if I, if I can see it in there, then I'm good, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, okay. then tap the band to your phone. Yeah, uh, well, uh, try, I did it this way. Yeah? To what part of your phone did you go Just to? Just the back of it. Oh. Yeah. And you got it, yeah, and you'll feel a little, we're having, we're having a little group session here of trying to tech support these things right now. Yeah. I think it, well, let me see that. Are you, are you trying to tap it or trying to use your camera? Okay. <laughs> it's kind of comical this process that we have to go through for a thing that actually is not as useful as our phone that we already have. It's kind of comical. What a world we live in. Excuse me, I have to <laughs> update my plastic wristband in order for it to work. It said to keep the, the band close to your phone. I can't get much closer than this, I don't think. Now, does this, if, it, if I can't get it paired, I can still use it though. Yes. I mean, as long as it's connected to your magic key, yeah. then you're chilling. All right, hey, it looks like we got there. Uh, your Magic Band Plus is up to date. Continue and find Magic Band Plus experiences. And there you go. So we did finally get the uh, software updated, which I didn't get to record because um, I turned it off. But so now we're back. Magic Band Plus, we'll click that. And then there's our Magic Band again. And then it doesn't, yeah, it, it, it's, it's there quite right away. It's starting, it's trying to connect, and there it goes. It took about a couple seconds for it to connect. Uh, there's a place for you to update right there. You can pair right there. Now, we're gonna test this thing. Actually, the first thing that we gotta do, if we're gonna test this out, it's leave. We gotta, we gotta go out of the park to scan in so we can boop our way in. And I must confess, I've got a little bit of anxiety about this. I don't know why, but I feel like this is all just going to go terribly wrong, uh, and they're going to—I'm not going to be able to boop in. I, I'm—is <laughs> it weird that I'm scared about this? Thank you. Hi, Hi we're going to do this today. Okay. Yeah. So that we're working on it. Are you guys tra are practicing also? Well, yeah, I just started today. Look, see. So. Yeah. Okay. 
No? We got it? We did it? All right. Everybody's, everybody's learning today. <laughs> that was just her second boop in. So we did it. We did it. Ah. And that's kind of you know, a, a summary of what it is that, that the Magic Band is versus you know, using your, your app or even a, a hard copy of your, of your pass, you know, a ticket, an actual ticket. It's not about convenience. It's, it's kind of fun. And whimsical for them to, you know, to scan your wristband. You just, you just put that on and you scan it in. That's the reason why I was like intrigued about this. Why I was curious about it is the feeling that you have when you, when you do this. Now, whether or not that's gonna, you know, last, if that'll, if that'll wear off at some point, you know, because I have to say, that's certainly no quicker than, um, you know, them scanning your app. Although you do have to, when you have the app, you have to fish your camera out, find. The app. You have to launch the app. Sometimes you're not logged in. Sometimes you have to, you know, forget your password. You know, that's a thing. But in most cases, getting your phone out, navigating to your pass, and then having them scan it, it takes a minute. So that's what we just saved there. In terms of actual convenience, in terms of actual time saving, maybe not even that. Seconds, really. 30 seconds, probably. But it's more about the fun of it, <laughs> you know what I mean? The fun of it of walking through the gate and then having them, you know, just, you know, flashing your, your wristband thing and, and you're done. He's clapping today. I'm so happy. But seeing, hi guys, you got Peter too in your vehicle? <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, that makes me so happy. Disneyland, man. You know, somebody said today, happiest place on earth, and they, they meant it. We were on the fire truck, and he said, it literally, it really is the happiest place on earth. That's a conversation for another video talking about how Disneyland still manages to do the things that it's always done in spite of everything. But I just wanted to put that out there right now because as you can plainly see, I'm happy. Next step is to try out our magic band with Lightning Lane, <laughs> we're going to Small World because everything else is an hour from now and I, need to, I don't need to use Magic Band today, or I should say uh, Genie Plus today for Small World. It's a five minute standby, but we're gonna do it anyway so I can watch the light go off. <laughs> That's the whole point, right? Uh, so, let's try, man, I'm just, I'm just sitting here staring now. I feel I'm constantly aware of this thing on me now. It's kind of interesting. I don't ever get to do this. I don't ever get to go lightning lane. I choose not to. I shouldn't say get to. I choose not to, but uh, uh, you know, maybe we'll later on we'll try something else. But for now, do I need to just go to this guy? Or can I just go to one of these things? Okay. Did it do it? There it goes. Ah! Oh, and it, it vibrated on my wrist a little bit just now, too. Okay, so we're two for two on successful tests. That was quick and easy, much simpler than, again, having to fish out your phone. Although, in terms of actual time savings, we're talking about not even a minute, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. But, uh, I, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I guess I have to say I'm enjoying it. Although, uh, again, I, the question I ask is how long will that last? You know, the, the, the fun of this, will that wear off? <laughs> added bonus is that we get to actually ride as a small one, which makes me very happy. kind of refreshing <laughs> the hustle and bustle of this morning of you know having an agenda and trying to you know fight my way through getting my magic band uh, synchronized and connected to my phone and my app which wasn't exactly painless or seamless but it was okay 
but it was refreshing to be able to enjoy a little bit of actual Disneyland, some classic Disneyland in the middle of this day, uh, courtesy of Lightning Lane, which I had to purchase in order to test it, which is unfortunate because I prefer not to. But uh, yeah, so we had to do what, there's another thing that we get to do with Magic Bands, and that is uh, the interactive game, Batu Bounty Hunters, which we're going to, we're not going to do the whole thing right now, but we're going to go to Galaxy's Edge and, and see how that works, a little bit at least. Now we uh, teased a while back in a construction video about some of the places that you might be able to find a Batu bounty. We know the obvious one out there next to the garage across from Ronto Roasters. We'll do a drive by there real quick to see what, the, uh, what that scene looks like. <laughs> and what do you know, there's a bit of a queue here with some uh, Magic Band owners already wanting to play Batu bounty hunters. That's kind of exciting. And that's the, this was behind a wall not long ago, or as of uh, two days ago. But that's the thing, you can scan right, th right here, and also on that door. I don't know if this is where we start. Let me get the app open and see what's up. Okay, so uh, let's see, tap your band to accept a bounty hunter job. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's kind of glary. Oh, I'm vibrating, so it's right away. Uh, if it's green, you're going the right way. If it's red, you're going the wrong way. And then when you find the door, it's purple. Once you do that, scan. Okay, tap your phone to the band. Got it. And then come back here. It's right next door, right there. Come back here to collect your credits. And that's our first bounty is Edmo Ectically. 875 credits. Happy hunting. Now, I can't tell. You know, it's kind of bright here. It says I'm going in the right direction because that is definitely vibrating or colored green. Where to? Let's see. Man, that's going nuts. Oh no, now it's saying it's red. Okay, now I'm back to green again. Getting warmer. So I think I had, I think I was looking at it wrong. I think it said purple before, and that's not right. Okay, I'm gonna not look at the band. I'm just gonna look through the camera. It's still green, presently green. It's going faster. The pulse is beating much quicker now. I know there's a door over here on my left. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, it's going nuts. It's going nuts. Am I there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's saying <laughs> he's saying that you're here. Sounds from your control panel will clear you in. Follow lights. Okay, with launch thermal viewer, I suppose. Yes. Is that Launching the thermal viewer, ready to scan. Tap your band, okay. Is that rope? Oh, there it goes. Okay, why is it taking me here? That doesn't seem right. Point thermal viewer at the doorway. Oh yeah, so now you scan it. So tap it, so tap the screen, and then kind of scan it up and down. Oh, I see. It should be, yeah, okay, I got it. Back up a little bit, it might be too close. I think that's just even more. Oh, really? Yeah. So you just kind of like scan it up and down. And then... Target spotted, hold thermal viewer. I did it. Hey! Yay! 
<laughs> we found Edmo Ectocle. Tap to report target's location. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So then you go back to over where we checked in. Going and it's back. the second door. Okay. Your, your That's great. Okay, awesome. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> I, I enjoyed that a little bit. I'm going to go collect my bounty and then we're going to go into the next evolution of our Magic Man testing. I kind of enjoyed that. I don't know. This might be a uh, one and done type situation. I don't know if you could play this game multiple times, which we're, we'll do a full, uh, a full game playthrough of this or whatever you want to call it. Uh, eventually, we're going to just do the one bounty and get, get on with our day. Uh, but I kind of enjoyed that. Let's go get our bounty. But first, I think I should try to video bomb Mondo over here. Do you think he'll mind if I video bomb him? Okay, just uh, put our tentacle in here. There it goes. Located. Oh, this I guy. I see you found the first bounty. Not bad. But you'll need to collect a lot more to join the Bounty Hunters Guild. Here are your credits. 875 credits. By the way, if you want to see my little impromptu interview with Mondo, go check out his Magic Band video. Uh, I will appear in that, uh, giving my thoughts on this game so far. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the show that the only place to get these right now is at the Starcade, the, the old you know video game arcade next to Star Trader. That's this week, you know, for the uh, cast members, DVC, and Magic Key holders. You can also this week you can also get them at Studio 17 over at uh, DCA if you're if you're starting at DCA or at Downtown Disney at the old ESPN Zone, the building formerly known as the ESPN Zone, where they do those you know where they've been doing those merchandise events and they just recently did the uh, the jazz exhibit. So you can get one there now, and then next week. When they go wide and everybody can get them, they're going to be in many stores throughout the park. Uh, 20th Century Music Company, uh, you know, just basically most of the gift shops, I think. r 2 is here, guys. You don't hardly ever see him. Hardly ever. No, he's always he's already going backstage, though. He's got some work to do. He's probably got a trash compactor to open up. One last thing that we can do here with the Magic Band is use it to get a photo pass, which this is actually one of the cooler features for me because I don't ever get photo pass. I don't ever get photos. Part of the reason why it's just it's not convenient, but it's free with uh, Magic Bands, so uh, or we I should say with Magic Keys. It comes with Magic Keys, and we also uh, it's very easy. Hopefully, I, we're gonna test it out if I can just you know boot my my band here. Uh, let me see. Can you try it. Bring it a little bit lower. Yeah, you're good to go. Cool. Yeah, man. That's good? Yeah. All right. So just had a fun little photo shoot there with a very friendly cast member, photo pass photographer. Took a bunch of shots. I, I think I got a little bit of footage of him booping my thing, but I felt like I didn't even have to do that. He seemed like it was already there. Like the band had already covered it. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. It was all posing and none of that other nonsense that you have to go through in order to set up photo pass. So that was pretty cool. With that, while we're here, Galaxy's Edge, I want to start getting into the things that you can't do. And we're starting with lunch here at Ronto Roasters. Alright, now before we even get into this, Tatooine Sunset. <sighs> Fantastic. That is so delicious. Uh, so, while I was on my way to get my photo there in front of the Millennium Falcon and standing in line and waiting, I placed a mobile order at Ronto Roasters for that Tatooine Sunset and this and this delicious looking thing right here. This is hefty. That thing it feels like it weighs a pound at least. Uh, that is the uh, plant-based vegan Ronto wrap. It's delicious. I'm going to enjoy this, but what I couldn't do when I mobile ordered that was pay for it with my band. I couldn't you couldn't do anything. You can't place an order. You can't pay for it with your Magic Band. That's one of the things that you can't do with a Magic Band. But I tell you what, you don't need Magic Band to enjoy a Ronto Wrap.
What else can you not do? Well, I mean, besides paying for mobile orders or even using it to pick up your mobile order, you can't you can't pay for anything yet, which is kind of interesting because uh, I I kind of feel like that's the whole point of of Magic Bands. That's the ultimate end game is for Disney to make it easier for guests to spend money in the park. You can pay for things at Walt Disney World with your Magic Band. You can go into a gift shop, pick out some merchandise, and then just have them scan your Magic Band, and it's paid for. You can connect it to your, uh, you know, your bank account or whatever, that kind of thing. Can't do that yet here at Disneyland. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> also can't use it to park. Uh, now, normally that's, that, the band, the way I had described it originally was that it just basically replaced your barcode on your annual pass. So anything that you could do with your barcode on your annual pass, you should be able to do with the Magic Band, except you can't park. And that's, you know, when you when you park with your Magic Key, uh, you just flash your your, your, your your barcode. That doesn't work yet here at Disneyland. I, I don't know, does it work at Walt Disney World? I don't know, can you do that at Walt Disney World? I don't know. Speaking of things you could do at Walt Disney World that you can't do here, is uh, use it as to enter your hotel room. You cannot boop your way into your hotel room with this key. Uh, you still have to use either the app or your actual key that they give you. Now we're going to get into a little bit more of that in a minute, but that's pretty much the extent of the things that you cannot do yet with the Magic Band. But before we do get into any more of it, because we got more things to cover, I uh, happen to book a Fast Pass, a, a Lightning Lane. I cannot believe I'm doing this. This is like the third time in my life <laughs> since, they've, since Genie Plus has become a thing. This might be the third time ever that I've booked a lightning lane for a thing. Uh, Splash Mountain, we're heading that way. Let's, get, let's use our second lightning lane of the day. How exciting. Sweet. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> Although you get that when you do the, uh, when you use your regular, you know, your, your phone or your ticket or whatever, you still get the same green pulse. But still, it's kind of satisfying to watch that thing happen. This is kind of satisfying also. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do enjoy it.
usual. That hit the spot, <laughs> nice and refreshing. Got it all up in my face. That was neat, that was, that was really cool. Great way to get close to wrapping this show, but we still have a few more things to talk about. As we mentioned just before Splash Mountain, one of the things that you can't do is, is use your magic band to, to pay for anything, which was kind of, I, I mean, even people I've talked to today in the parks, they thought that was the case, that coming here today, they, they believe that you would be able to pay for things. That's one of the reasons why they wanted one. It was the, how easy it was to buy stuff with the magic band. As of, as far as I know, and I'm pretty sure this is the case, right now you can't do that, but I do fully expect that to be the case very soon. Uh, matter of fact, uh, as I alluded to earlier, that's one. I feel like that's kind of the point of the Magic Planet. For a while, you know, the thought was it could track you. They wanted to know where you were, where you were spending your time. But the Disneyland app, hello, <laughs> the Disneyland app does a pretty good job of being able to do that. Uh, once you, when you turn on the app, it knows where you are all the time. So that's that's an automatic. They don't even need hey, the, the RFID chip in your band to do that. What they're really, what they, the, the goal here really is for them to make it a little bit easier for you to buy stuff in the park. To, to, therefore, you'd be more likely to buy stuff in the park. A little surprised that, that wasn't the case out of the out of the gate, but I do expect it to happen very very soon. In fact, I expect them to make to make it even go beyond just simply attaching the the magic band to a bank account. Uh, I believe that they're going to allow you to load a card, load your magic band in the same way that you load, let's say, a, a Starbucks gift card. You know, when you when you use the mobile app to buy Starbucks, you actually are prepaying for whatever amount, twenty, fifty, a hundred dollars. I expect them to give you that ability, uh, at least with respect to like, let, so that you can give the magic band to a, ki a, a kid, one of your one of your children who doesn't have a bank account that they can attach it to, or you don't want them to have free reign, you know, you know, attach your kids magic band to a bank account so you load it with a hundred dollars and let them go have their fun in the park and buy stuff with the magic, magic band uh doing that is also a, a it's an absolute positive it's a benefit for for disney in the same way that buying gift cards work in disney's favor you buy the gift card you spend that hundred dollars up front maybe you spend it all maybe you don't <laughs> you know that's the case with gift cards. that's the reason why they sell gift cards to begin with is on the off chance that you don't spend all that money maybe you how's it going Maybe you spend $97 out of that hundred. That's three bucks in their pocket. So gift cards or preloading uh, the Magic Band is a way for them to make a little bit extra money. I kind of think this might uh, make things possible for, or more possible for dining plans here at Disneyland. And that is that kind of the same, the same topic, the same angle. They still do dining plans at Walt Disney World. Yes, I think, right, they do. Uh, but being a prepaying for food, huge deal that's a huge deal to prepay for food so i expect this to you know we might be able to do that as well here uh and then you know you load it up on your band and then you, and then you would be able to just go up to bangle barbecue and and scan your magic band next we mentioned earlier that uh it is not battery powered it is you have to charge it it requires a charge uh we looked on the app when we installed it it said that uh it was fully charged it's 1.30 now, we've had this thing going now for about a four and a half hours. When we looked at the app, the app does have a little, you know, indicator on how much juice is left. It says we're about two thirds full. It's either full or partial or probably, I don't know what the bottom one is, but that's actually longer than, than we were expecting. We had heard some stories that uh, from Walt Disney World that the, the magic bands were winding down very quickly. They weren't lasting the whole day. Now, granted, it's only been four hours, so it's not a full day. <laughs> so I'm not sure, how, I would say if we're at two thirds full now, uh, it'll probably last at least another four or five hours, I would say. Probably, if there were two thirds, if we went down a third and four hours, then you're looking at maybe 12 even. So uh, that's, you know, je you know, roughly speaking. So you do have to charge it. Now they don't, they, they give you the cable, which we showed you earlier, and we're gonna demo that here in a second, but they give you a cable. You have to bring your own fuel rod or your own brick or something like that to charge it up. Let's try that out. So there's the band, and on the back, there's those two little nodes there. Take your charger, snap that in, right? So it's in there good. It's connected and then you, I'm trying to do this one-handed, which is great, but the only problem with this scenario is that if you're trying to do this in the middle of the day, while you're in the park, you pretty much can't wear it. 
because that's where your wrist goes, it's right there. Watch. So it's on ish, <laughs> but it's kind of like, it's kind of wonky. And also now I've got this cable hanging out of here, which I would have to connect to the fuel rod again. And at this point, if you want to walk around and charge and use it, you have to, you have to be either holding your brick or holding your fuel rod. That's quite a bit less than ideal, quite a bit more cumbersome, more awkward, more weird than just charging your phone. By the way, if you've only got the one charging cable, if, if that's the only one you have, then you can't charge your phone. <laughs> if your phone dies, you can charge one or the other if you only have one fuel rod. Now you need multiple fuel rods or multiple bricks and multiple charging cables to charge both your phone and your, and your, uh, and your magic band at the same time. So I guess what I'm saying is it behooves you to A, make sure that your band is fully charged before you get to the park, which obviously you can do at home, no problem. Or you, you bring a fuel rod or a brick of some kind, multiples. The fuel rods are great because they, you, can, you can swap them out. They're a little bit, I think, more convenient, I think, than, than the bigger bricks are, but you can swap these out in the parks. They're all over the place and you know, use them throughout the day. Now, there's one, there's one way you can get around that, and I'm not sure how fun this is, but there is one way to kind of get around that a little bit, that, the, the awkwardness of having to charge your magic band. The actual magic band isn't, you know, it's not the whole thing. The actual functioning part of the magic band is just what they call the, the, the puck, this little thing in the middle. And you can see there's these four screws that, right here around the edge. You can actually take the puck out that's inside there and you can put that in something else. You can take the puck out and put it in anything that, that makes sense that's convenient for you. And you can, you can even put it in your pocket. It's like I said, that's not exactly the most fun way or fun thing you can do with this, a fun solution. And I say that because for me, the, the enjoyment that I got out of this was just more about actually having it on my wrist and being able to do the thing, go through the gate, you know, lightning lane and, and photo pass and all that. It kind of, it's almost like putting it back in your phone if you, if you take the puck out and put it in something else. But at least it's not as cumbersome if you have to charge it. But like I said, hopefully you can get, if you can get a 12 hour charge, that's pretty good, I guess, right? That seems pretty good. Gotta make time for that. Uh, okay, one last point as we wrap this show up. Having said all of this about the magic bands and what they can do and what they can't do and where to find them and all that stuff. One thing I wanna say is that you don't have to get one. They're fun and they do have their uses. Hey, how are you? But some have asked, are these required? The answer is no, they are not mandatory. You can do everything that you need to do at Disneyland with the phone just as simply. It's just a question of, hi guys. It's just a, it's just a question of convenience. It's a little bit you know more convenient. As we mentioned, the time savings, they're not that great. You know, it's a minute or two here and there. Hold on. Checking out of here as we speak. It's just about the fun of it, about the, the enjoyment of it having something cool on your wrist like that, but they're not required. You can use your phone for, actually you can use your phone for more than what you can do with the Magic Band, obviously. So they're not required, not necessarily. It's just a fun little addition to your to your Disneyland day. Uh, so I hope you guys found this information bit, uh, useful, this how-to, this little tutorial and review, etc. how useful. I do hope you enjoyed. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbaked. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh Baked.